Here's our tail of tape for our co-main event of the evening. It's for the 108-pound WBO World Championship. Elwin Soto is your title holder, 24 years old, 5'3", with a 64-inch reach. Katsunari Takayama, an absolute legend in Japan. He paved the way for the great fighters of today, like Inoue, the monster, Murata. He is coming out of retirement, essentially, to try and win one more title. Sergio, why would you say no? A world title opportunity in front of 70,000 fans at the age of 37? Absolutely, 37 or not, this is a, this is a man that's Oh, already... a big right hand, and that buckle, the lightning kid, who's in trouble already in round one. He was just moving over to his left there, switched off momentarily, and that right hand landed clean on the jaw. And Takayama keeps his chin up. That's another reason that punch landed right there. He fights too erect. He should bend his knees and chin a little bit. Something to remember, this is an enormous ring, courtesy of Billy Joe Saunders, 22 feet. A lot of room for Takayama to move in. A move he must do after seeing the power from Soda. Takayama, the first Japanese fighter to hold a world title, either full or interim, in all four sanctioning bodies. This crowd of 70,000 has sounded more like 7,000. There really hasn't been much to cheer about, but if Soto can light up the Lightning Kid, they will erupt. There's another right hand. And a jab. And, oh, and he might go down right here at the end of the first round. Soto clubs him again with a left hook. Takayama trying to make it out of round one, and he does, but barely. It looked like that punch hit the chest of Takayama. Caught him off balance. Chris, what would a definitive victory for Soto do for him going forward? I think it would mean a lot. I mean, Soto, he got the title. No, oh, good left hook again. He got that title top with the win over Acosta, but that was viewed as controversial because the referee stepped in a little bit early in a fight that Soto was losing. And he's had two very tough title defenses, so a definitive win here, even against a long-faded opponent, I think would do a lot to boost Elvin Soto. Oh, a straight right hand. What a counter. Soto landing some heavy shots. Not sure that Takayama is going to make it out of this round. And that's the right hand I was talking about, Todd. He's keeping his chin too high. He needs to bend them legs, tuck that chin in. He went the distance with a Chocolatito Gonzalez. So that tells you how tough Takayama is. 18 years it's been. Incredible. But if he keeps eating those overhand rights, it's going to be about 18 seconds. Oh, there's another one. And a third. I know it's bigger than the one in Wembley when Carl fought George Groves. How many fans were there for that fight? You're not going to tell me you don't know how many fans were there. <laughs> Let me tell you anyway, 80,000 fans at Wembley Stadium. Takayama really enjoying himself here now. Putting a little bit of um, shuffle and shake on there in the middle of the ring. And we've got the Mexican wave ripping through AT&T Stadium right now. Sergio, sit down. We're calling a fight. Takayama is impressing me. I'm telling you, the, the old ways. I'm impressed with the 37-year-olds and the energy of Takayama. He may not be winning the fight, but he's winning over the crowd. And look at the power punches to round five, 123 to 82. And I don't need to tell you that Soto's are hurting a lot more than Takayama's punches. Look, and that's a big discrepancy. Not to compare the two, but we see that a lot with Canelo fights where he gets out jabbed. It's just he wins by an abundance of power punches. But these last two rounds now, or at least a round and a half, this has been great work for Takayama. Nice right hand connecting there for Soto. And it's nice to have a little buzz in the, in the air right now. If this is indeed Takayama's final fight, he's going out with all his heart. A true Japanese warrior. Look at him standing in the pocket with Elwin Soto. What heart on Takayama coming oh, forward. Cut with a big uppercut, buckled again. And not loading up on those punches, and that's finally why they're landing. I don't think he's loading up now because he's feeling the pace. I mean, he's landed some big shots. He was expending a lot of energy early on in this contest. And now we're into the championship round, into round nine here. To be a little bit more conservative. Good body shot by Takayama. He 
He doesn't stop investing in the Ooh, body. That right hand to the temple affected Takayama. Left hook, right hand, Soto scoring now. Takayama with a counter right. Takayama's powers of recovery and the ability to take these shots is fascinating. Well, the power edge goes to Soto, the heart edge goes to Takayama. I mean, what heart in Takayama. He's taking these punches, coming forward, still digging down to the body, and Soto just landing punches. When the referee steps in and stops it. Oh, my word. You gotta let a warrior go out on his shield. That is unbelievable. Lawrence Cole steps in and stops this fight before Takayama gets knocked down, before he gets seriously hurt. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing for a man that has 40 fights, only been stopped one time. How do you not give a legend like this any time to do something great, especially when it's coming close to the championship rounds? Yeah, I agree with all three of you because that was a terrible stoppage. I mean, come on, Takayama's in there. He's, he's fighting his heart out. He's, he's, he's almost having a swan song payday here, and a, a final fight for the fans and for himself. And, it, you know, he's been robbed of that opportunity now to finish strong and see the distance. I generally don't believe in the whole let a champion go out on his shield. I think that's a dangerous philosophy to have. But Takayama had not been hurt. He was starting to win some of these rounds. This could be, as Carl said, the last fight of his career. You have got to let him try and Look finish at this him. fight. Restart the fight. Takayama says, fire back up. Bring on Soto again. Takayama getting the love of the Mexican fans here. 70,000 strong cheering for a foreign fighter. That's one of the worst stoppages I've seen in a while. Takayama showing there he's got a fully charged battery in the tank. I'm not sure how full that battery is, but he's certainly still got energy left, and he deserves to be in there. I think we can all agree on that. A world title fight with a chance to secure an all-Japanese showdown with a 108-pound unification fight. And to step in like that, you see the expression on his face, shocked that that fight would stop when it was. He was actually punching back when the fight got stopped. Now the referee could argue, look, there's nothing coming back, I'm gonna stop this fight. But he, he was still in the fight. You may not believe it, Chris, to let a fighter, a champion, go out on the shield, but a fighter does. And that man right there that's earned the legendary status He's a true trailblazer in Japanese boxing. You let that man go off in his shield, and that's how he wants to go out. My thing, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lawrence Cole calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 44 seconds of round at number nine. Your winner by TKO, and still, the WBO Junior Flyweight Champion of the World, Elwin. Right.